how do we create custom programs for our athletes when they're doing small group training? What's up, guys? If you don't know me, my name is John Vickers, and I'm the owner of Explosive Performance Academy and creator of the Five Star Formula, where we help your athletes become the most elite version of themselves through our five pillar system. And we've had so many people come through our program, and so many people ask questions about how we create a customized plan for an athlete when they come through our gym, even if they're in a small group setting. Now, I, I have laid out a plan specifically for our five-star formula, and I can give you our free five-star formula accelerator, scholarship accelerator kit. All you have to do is comment formula below, and I will send that to you. But I want you to keep watching this because I want to show you exactly how we lay out custom plans for our athletes when they're coming through our gym, even if they are coming through small group training which is what we do mostly. So when it comes to this, I'm, I'm gonna pull up my screen share. <clears throat> um, let's see right here. So we have a whole process that we go through, right? <clears throat> so I have this athlete's program right here, okay? We have, this athlete is just starting out with us. We just did an evaluation last week. He's actually starting training today. Last week was our onboard, onboarding process. So we collect nutrition information, we collect nutrition background, and then we lay out a plan for that. But that's a different video. With the physical part, we actually bring them in for an evaluation. So we measure their vertical jump, their broad jump, their triple jump, their max vertical jump, their 10-yard split, and their pro agility. And then we do a muscle evaluation where we're measuring everything from head, from neck all the way down to toe to see if it punk punk if it functions well and the athlete is able to move like they're supposed to move. So what we do, we lay out this plan. So this athlete, he's just starting out with us. He's never trained with us before, and he needs to go through what we call our anatomical adaptation phase first. This is where he's getting used to what we do. He's We're teaching him specific things on how to move, how our athletes should move, and we're not just chucking random stuff at him. We're not just writing a workout up on the board and hoping that he becomes successful. So what I do is I do the evaluation and then I look through all this stuff. I've already looked through it, but there are videos and pictures to show posture, to show movement and show what he looks like. Based off from that, that's how we create this program. And it's a four day a week program. So it's anatomical adaptation. And this will be the first three weeks for him. Okay, so some things that we saw, <clears throat> saw that he's tight in his ankles. So he's going to start out with band and dorsiflexion. And then he has some postural issues. So he's going to start out with this 90-90 supine breathing. And we're actually going to change this one up. We're going to go arms elevated cat camel because he has some spinal control issues. So he's going to do these. Then... With him being a football player, we want him to be good at barbell bench press. So we're going to do bench press. He's going to keep a tempo. We're also going to help out with his explosive power. So he's going to do band-assisted plyo push-ups. And then he'll do a, a back exercise. We want to make sure that there is equality on both sides. So he's got dumbbell, single arm row, chest supported, alternate top, top raise. Uh, he does not need this. So we're going to delete this. And then we want him to get stronger in his shoulders, his pull-ups, face pull. So his back, and then another core exercise. So we're going to keep all that stuff. Now, lower body, we're going to go here, band of doors flexion again. We're going to do four sets of it today. We're going to do the 90-90 breathing. His hip control is lacking. So we want to make sure that we are doing hip cars. And then we actually want internal rotation, standing hip or internal rotation because he cannot control internally. And then normally I would, uh, 
we actually are going to do dumbbell goblet squats. And then we're going to do rocket jumps. We're going to do this hamstring strength. And we're going to do a kettlebell heavy carry. We're going to go 40 yards with that. Mm -hmm. And the second one, so this I'm going to switch up. We're going to go dumbbell, backward lunge, goblet backward lunge, three sets of eight each. These are all good here. We're going to keep those. We want the anterior tibialis strong because his ankles are weak. And then we go to day three. Day three is upper body. We're going to keep the dorsiflexion in there. We're only going to do three sets of that. We're going to do four sets of these, incline bench. We're going to add in some plyo push-ups again. But I'm going to switch this up. This is going to be a dumbbell. Or no, I'm sorry. It's going to be a supine row. You know, four sets of 10. This is going to be a side plank. Four sets. 20 seconds each. He doesn't need these wrist cars, so we're not going to do those. Feet, try shoulder complex. That's all good there. <clears throat> and then we go to day four. Okay, so band of dorse flexion. We're going here. Cars. I want internal rotation and again here. And then we're actually going to go hex bar deadlift here. With the heels elevated, four sets of that. You know, rocket jumps, four sets of four. Single leg supine hip lift, iso hold, pal off press, iso hold. Thirty seconds each. We're going to do a goblet lateral lunge here. And that's all good there. So that's it there, and then we place it. Okay, all really simple stuff. Save that, place it, and then they they have this program on an app. They can do it anywhere in the world if they want to do it. Very simple. We just place it, we create it, we place it. It's specific to them, and it's it's also periodized. So we have three weeks of this, then we'll have three weeks of another phase. Okay, all very, very simple stuff. Very simple stuff for, for me as a coach because I've done this, but I'm not just writing things up on a whiteboard and having everybody do the exact same thing. We have a framework of what we want all of our athletes to do and how to go through it, but there's customization to each one. Reps, sets, intensity, volume, um, placement, everything that we're going to do is specific. It's intentional. It is exactly what the athlete needs to get from where they currently are to where they want to go. We lay that out step for step by step for the athlete, make sure that they're getting everything that they need. So it's a very simple process. Now, if you want to learn more about a fi our five-star formula, then you can grab our five-star formula scholarship accelerator kit. All you have to do is comment formula below. I'll send you that link. You can check out our, our kit and we can go from there. Have a great one. Talk to you soon.